So leadership imperatives. This is interesting. One, I, I think in order for people to collaborate well, and, he, and this is uh, Simon Sinek talks about this mm -hmm. often, great leaders create an environment for collaboration and trust. Mm -hmm. And they create that uh, by, by uh, creating a safe environment where people aren't driven by fear and their behavior isn't driven by fear. We, we all know that people accept... It's going to be tough. It's going to be <laughs> very, to be it's be very tough. But that's, as we said, coming out of crisis, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be uncertain, but it shouldn't be driven by fear. It should mm -hmm. be driven by opportunity. If we look at uh, what's going on around the world with companies, uh, mass layoffs and, and uh, letting people go with no pay and, and so on, that's creating an environment of fear. Um, and it's also damaging the potential to trust that organization mm -hmm. if, if they do invite those employees back in the future. I'm not, mm -hmm. not sure I would trust an organization that, that, uh, that very quickly uh, works to save the numbers but not the people. And that's mm -hmm. another Simon Sinek quote is, you know, great leaders will sacrifice the numbers to save the people. Uh, poor leaders are the ones that sacrifice the people to save the numbers. And I think this is a very telling time when the behavior of companies, how they behave in a time of crisis, will lead to the way they form relationships with people in the future and the environment that they're able to create. Yeah, so if we go into the fact that there is a crisis, there is chaos, it will settle down. It will not be the old way of working. Yeah. It'll be a new normal. You're going to need people to discover that. If you've let your people go or you've alienated your people, you're going to lose your main resources for discovering ways. And the best ones. Yes, the ones that have choices. Yeah. Okay. Um, the one thing I was going to say on there, though, so you mentioned Simon Sinek. I was, I'll go back a little bit to uh, World War II, or the, okay. the period between World War I and World War II. Slightly S different time. Slightly different time. <laughs> but I think there's still the same things that are relevant, and I can bring it into a business perspective. So if we look at the obedience to authority in the Prussian military culture, so that led the Prussian army and the German army into the trenches in World War I and complete stalemate. The German military realized that they needed a different way of dealing with things. They needed a way of being able to enable teams to work in conditions of volatility and uncertainty. That's why I think it's relevant mm -hmm. now. So what they came out with was a cultural shift. And it was a philosophical shift as well. And so they, again, focus on this idea of a mission. We need to clearly communicate our intent, even if that intent is just short term. But we need to make sure people know which way we're going. Everything is focused on if what you're doing will get us towards that mission. Mm -hmm. We do it. Yep. The key element to this was encourage an intuitive feel. So you think you can move forward in doing that. Well, I don't necessarily agree, but if you think that's going in the right direction, I'll trust you to do that. Mm -hmm. And that trust is what's key. You need to be making these moves forward. So if you look at what Amazon do today, and if you look at Amazon's, uh, Bezos' 2016 letter to shareholders, mm -hmm. he talks about the same four type of things. Mm -hmm. So their mission is commitment, a customer obsession. Mm -hmm. We are committed to customers. Mm -hmm. Amazon are hiring people at the moment while other companies are going into business. But Absolutely. we just out of business. We'll discuss that in a moment, though. The second thing is the focus. Anything that you're doing that gets us towards customer focus will support. The key thing, though, is intuition. You don't have to get everybody's agreement for doing things. They have mm -hmm. an idea of disagree and commit. Because mm -hmm. the leader can't know, and Bezos himself says, if I need to get everybody to get my authority, we're definitely going to be too slow to act. Absolutely. And in this environment, speed is going to be crucial. So you need to try things. Some things are not going to work, but you're going to discover new things. And you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be slightly quicker than mm -hmm. your rivals. So they have this idea they encourage intuition. That trust comes from the three, phase, three other yep. phases. We focus, we have a mission that we're focused on, and we allow people to use their intuition towards it. That's possibly a model or a cultural model that organizations can be focused on mm -hmm. now. Because yeah. that's a short term and medium term. That's not the long term. The long term, you're going to have to discover things. But in the short and medium term, that's a way of being able to move forward.